Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a very special video. Now, not that all of the videos that I create here on YouTube are not special, but it's the first week of August and you know what that means? It's fall. It's fall. Absolutely. I am so excited for fall. As you know, I put my little ghosty shirt on to celebrate. I know it's more Halloween and Kringle is known for their Halloween line as well. But I have the eight new fragrances from the Kringle Soy line of candles. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Kringle Candle was started by Mick Ketridge, which is Michael Ketridge's son. Now, what's really awesome about Kringle is it's old school Yankee Candle. It's beautiful packaging, incredible fragrances, and now with this new soy formula, I'm obsessed. I'm working on burning through a lot of other candles, but in this new apartment, the Kringle Soy Candles are magnifique. They burn so well, so strong for the most part, and they're beautiful. So there are eight new fragrances in the fall line, as well as eight new fragrances in the country line. The country line look very similar to that Yankee Candle Jar, Paraffin Wax, Double Wicked. They are not my favorite candles, and I understand I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, but one, I paid for all of these candles myself with my own money. I will share a coupon code for you. It is an affiliate link for 15% off. It's just my username, DSYOK. I'll leave that down below if you want to use it. If not, no big deal. But I'm not a fan of the country candles. I'm not. I don't love the way they burn, being paraffin, and I'm just... I don't like the double wicks. I find that they soot a lot more than the soy candles do. So there are rumors that the country candles are going to get a three wick. I really hope that's true. I don't know. I just, in my personal opinion, in my home, I'm much more of a fan of their classic two wick white soy classic jar candles. I love the beautiful full labels, spoiler alert, and I just think they're absolutely beautiful. But again, this is not sponsored. I paid for these for my own money, and I love Kringle Candle. I absolutely love them. They are the candles that I'll be purchasing going forward, especially in this new home, and this video is going up on August 3rd. August 5th is going to be Halloween pre-sale launch for Kringle. I'll leave all the information for that down below, and I'm also gonna make a short little video talking about how to order, what fragrances, I'm looking forward to, I'm just going in for them all. At this point, this will be my second year with Kringle Candle Halloween, and granted, only my second year, but I wanna collect them now. They're so beautiful. I love them for displaying for Halloween. I actually think above my TV, I have like this really thick shelf. I'm gonna put all the candles on display for Halloween. That's my plan, but we have eight fragrances and all the fragrance notes that I copied and pasted straight from the Kringle website. So without further ado, let's get to sniffing some fall candles, shall we? First up, we have Amber Wood. Now, let me just tell you, I always say this, the packaging on the Kringle candles are beautiful. And this year, and I know that they did it for the summer ones, I believe, as well, I didn't actually purchase a lot of the summer ones. I was moving, life was chaotic, and I knew I wouldn't get a chance to pop on here and film for you guys and give it the attention that it needed. So I did not purchase the spring one or the summer ones, but definitely the fall and definitely the Christmas ones I will be getting for you guys. But this, they are now beautiful pictures of like painted canvases. I'm gonna do a very in-depth photo, like an in-depth macro shot here about these beautiful candles, but the labels are so pretty. You have this beautiful bridge looking over the water and the reflections, but if you look really closely, you can see the texture of like the canvas. They're stunning, and I will say they're not textured when you feel them, but the, fo the photos or the paintings really do look like a beautiful fall scene painted on a canvas. 
So, amber wood is the first one, and it says, smoldering smoky embers, sweet vanilla, and rich bourbon combine to create this sophisticated fall fragrance handcrafted for outdoor adventures. Adventurers. All right, so I did not smell any of these candles. I just opened up the box, went to the gym, was like, oh my God, I wanna go home, record this video, and put it up for you guys. So I have not smelled these yet, but, Top notes are bourbon and spiced vanilla. I'm really excited. I love bourbon scents. I love rich, boozy fragrances. Mid notes of wood smoke, spice, and oak. And base notes of birch, amber, and bourbon. So we have bourbon in there twice. Let's see. Oh, that's really good. It's just a creamy white wax. That is really nice. So I will say, it's not super, super boozy. Um, I do need to record my video on the reserve line. I do have the whole reserve line obsessed. But yeah, this is, I'm getting a lot of oak wood and wood smoke. I'm getting a lot more of those mid notes than the base notes. It's very smoky, very deep, dark wood, very sophisticated. I feel like a man who really, pardon my French, has his shit together would burn this candle in his house or wear a cologne like this. It's very deep and dark. And I think the oak and the birch wood mixed together create the fall vibe because oak wood is very, very dark and deep. Whereas the birch is very like light crisp. So combined together, really, really pretty. Oh, I really like that. Like I said, definitely more like masculine, but I wouldn't necessarily say masculine cologne. It's more like a masculine, deep, rich, more body wash, if I was gonna say, than a cologne. It's really, really pretty. All right, I did watch some videos and this one really intrigued me. This is Apple Love, and Apple Love is so pretty. There's a basket of apples like falling over, and then the one apple has a little bite taken out of it, and the bite is shaped like a heart. So cute. So th this one reads, there is nothing quite like the sweet smell of mama's fall baking. The combination of apples, elderberries, and sugared fruits will make you feel right at home. So we have top notes of sweet apple, elderberries, and lemon, mid notes of sugarcane, tangerine, and farm stand blackberries, base notes of strawberry, pomegranate, and cherry blossom. Yum. Ooh. Okay. That's very interesting. It's not your typical everyday run-of-the-mill apple scent, because I know a lot of people are like, another apple scent? And I'm the same way. You, it's a very sweet, sugary apple. Um, hmm. I like this. It's not what I was expecting at all. Sorry, I'm just like, wow, that's, that's really different. Elderberry, lemon, and sweet apple. So you have this really rich deepness from like the elderberry and the apple and the blackberry. And I feel like the strawberry pomegranate notes are like sweet, kind of leaning towards like a syrupy sweet, but it's a really pretty. I really like this. I would definitely say if you're an apple lover, don't get this expecting it to be straight up apple because it's not. I almost feel like apple is like in the forefront. I feel like you're at a really sophisticated, very high-end dinner and they brought this like tort and just a little bit of crust. I'm not saying, I mean, crust isn't even listed on here, but I do get a slight hint of like a bakery crust, very slight, very in the background, but it's filled with these beautiful fall fruits, the berries, the pomegranates, the strawberries, the apples, the elderberries. Yeah, it's a very warm, sweet, baked fragrance. It's really different. I wonder how this is going to burn because right now it definitely is really different. I like it though. I'm not saying I don't like it. I'll be honest. I will say if I don't like a fragrance, but no, this, it is definitely one more hit. Yeah, it is. It's like a, it's like a tort. That's how I would describe it. Like a very fancy tort. I like this. I'm excited to burn it. Buttery tort. Add like the butter to the pie crust. All right. 
Next we have Autumn Road, and this is beautiful. I feel like this kind of looks like that um, desktop photo from like, what was it, Windows 2000? I don't even remember, but Windows 05, I don't know. But it looks like that like background from the Windows, and then just like the computer, and then just like uh, watercolored. So super fun packaging. And it says, experience comfort with this sun-backed earthy blend. Cocoa, hints of coffee, patchouli, and wood merge to capture the essence of fall. Top notes of is oriental cocoa, mid notes of coffee and nutmeg, and base notes of wood and patchouli. Interesting. Whoa. Okay, I have some thoughts. You get cocoa. You absolutely get cocoa, like like a rich chocolate, but don't let that think that it's a chocolate fragrance. It's not. It's way more, way more sweet, but not like cloyingly sweet. And you really get the wood and the patchouli. I'm not getting much coffee. Yeah. Maybe a little bit, maybe the coffee mixed with the wood is giving me that coffee note, but I'm really getting the rich cocoa. Like a cocoa powder more than like chocolate. So like that Hershey's cocoa powder, but you're drinking it in a coffee shop that was like, it was a very old wood building almost. So like there's a coffee shop locally to me where it's down in the strip district here in Pittsburgh and it's very old school like and it's next to a wood like a woodworking place it's kind of the vibes I'm getting here but it's not a coffee forward fragrance it's definitely more cocoa it's this is in this is insane these are really complex which I'm just I'm really shocked at how different these are yeah I, I'm definitely getting like Woody with a hint of cocoa. Very curious on this one. Yeah. I can't stop smelling it because I'm so intrigued. I don't know which one I'm going to burn first at this point. All right. There are two in here that I was most excited about without even reading the notes, just the pictures and the names. This one. Gourd Jess. And emphasis on gourd for gourd Jess. We have an apple. We have a pumpkin. Some grapes. A little squash action going on there. Super cute, love the label. And this says, are you a PSL lover? I am. Gourd Jess is our elevated version of this fall staple drink. Pumpkin spice lattes, boasting notes of pumpkin, cinnamon, vanilla, enhanced with hints of citrus. So top notes of pumpkin spice and citrus, mid notes pumpkin, cinnamon, and nut, base notes spice and vanilla. All right, so a more sophisticated pumpkin spice latte. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. It's crazy because I get the citrus, but not first. The pumpkin in here definitely reminds me of pumpkin spice, but not cinnamon forward pumpkin spice. I would think nutmeg more forward pumpkin spice, it's definitely what a lot of the fall candle companies try to do, but can't accomplish. Kringle accomplished it. It's like the creaminess of the pumpkin. You know I'm loving like a real like gut of a pumpkin fragrance. It's not that, but I like that when you smell a pumpkin candle, there's actual pumpkin in it and not just the spice of a pumpkin because realistically, a pumpkin spice latte is not pumpkin. It's cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger latte, but they call it pumpkin spice latte because those are the spices in a pumpkin pie. But that's a whole debate. Anyway, this is way more like creamed pumpkin added with those spices. And then as I take my nose away, you just get a brightness of a citrus, almost like you're cleansing your palate after you drink this delicious warm drink. This is a pumpkin spice latte that you get from a gourmet or like a family owned coffee shop that has all their syrups like in glass bottles lined up, handwritten labels, and they make fresh label or fresh syrups like daily or weekly. They're not Tarani syrups that are sitting on a shelf, like these are homemade. 
Yep, that's what I'm leaving. No coffee though. Just like the creamed, delicious, sweet, spiced aspect of a latte. So no coffee. I don't get any coffee. Coffee's not even listed on here. It's definitely more of what the pumpkin spice latte is supposed to be. That's delicious. Four down, four to go. The next one I am so intrigued by is morning cartoons because it doesn't really fit the rest of the fall vibe. So I'm interested. Now I know there are two Kringle candles, fruit and flakes, and mar magical marshmallow morning. I forget exactly what it's called. I went to order them and then I'm like, no, I don't need any more candles. When there's a sale coming up, I don't care. I'm ordering them. I need them. I need those candles in my life. There's a few candles on their website right now that I'm like, yeah, I need some more of that. Yeah, I need some more of that. And Natalie raves about that marshmallow morning candle. So I need to get it and yeah, I need to have it in my collection. So, morning cartoons. Inspired by our inner child, morning cartoons will transform you back to early mornings, slurping up the fruity milk left at the bottom of your cereal bowl. Brown sugar, toasted waffles, and cinnamon, mid notes of pumpkin spice, maple syrup, and creamy butter, and it says warm base notes. So it's interesting that it says, it will transform you back to early days slurping your fruity milk left at the bottom of the bowl, but like the description smells, sounds like pumpkin pecan waffles. Interesting. Let's see. This is pumpkin pecan waffles. Yep. Um, okay. Interesting. So I did not expect this to smell like this from the label. This literally smells like pumpkin pecan waffles. Just cringle-fied, like more sophisticated, but absolutely. You get the creamy butter, you get the rich waffle. Yeah, that's really interesting because I was expecting like a bowl of Fruit Loops, but totally not. It's totally like, this is where, okay. I want to say I'm announcing here on YouTube, I'm going to school. I applied for college. I'm going for marketing. I'm super excited to really push myself and learn what I want to learn in my life. And I think a career in marketing is where I want to do. I don't want to waste my talent working in retail. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just want to do something more with my life. And going to school for marketing is what I want to do. So my like marketing brain is like, how does this market like pumpkin pecan waffles like interesting so mick if you're watching or anyone from the kringle team if you're watching please comment below send me a message on instagram anything i'm very curious to see like how this came to be because it's really interesting not i love pumpkin pecan waffles that is my favorite scent ever i i love it but this literally smells like rich waffles out of the iron covered in maple syrup and butter. Yum, delicious. Just not what I was expecting at all from, from that. So there you go with that one. Next we have Rail Bridge, and this one is a beautiful covered bridge, or not actually covered, semi-covered, in the middle of a, looks like, uh, there's like a little river here, beautiful blue sky, trees, and this one says, a fresh masculine fall fragrance starts with bergamot and orange peel and blends softly with exotic woody notes to complete this complex blend. Top notes of bergamot, orange, black peppercorn, apple, floral, amberwood, patchouli, and musk. Okay. Love me a masculine fragrance lately. So let's see. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. This is very masculine, very cologne-like. Definitely black peppercorn and bergamot forward. It's very Abercrombie vibes. Like very going into that store, smelling the colognes, hitting the, the shirts and pants and the apparel. It's very interesting. Hmm. Huh. I definitely like this because I've been really more into masculine scents, but I don't have a ton in my collection. 
It's very, very black peppercorn bergamot forward cologne. Colognes are very hard for me to describe. If you want a good like description of cologne fragrances, touch the fire twice. He just, Josh, he gives the best reviews for these like fresh type of fragrances and goes down into the layers and the history and he's just amazing. If you don't watch him, you have to. I'll link his channel down below. Anyway, yeah, this is a very masculine black pepper cologne fragrance. I would honestly wear this as a fragrance. I, I like this. I don't typically go for like masculine colognes, but I would definitely wear that. All right. The other one that I was so excited to get was Sugar Pumpkins. Look, it's Drew on a label. Orange is my favorite color. Pumpkins are my favorite fruit. Not that I just sit and eat pumpkins, but I love me a pumpkin. And Sugar Pumpkin says, our quintessential pumpkin fragrance has arrived. Sugar Pumpkins is pumpkin forward, yay, with notes of brown butter, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla. I'm excited. Top notes, pumpkin accord, cinnamon, and orange. Mid notes of brown butter, clove leaf. Base notes of baked vanilla, sweet cream, and sandalwood. All right, leaning back in my chair for this one. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. This smells, it smells like something I've smelled before, but this is pumpkin. This is divine. This is rich. This is creamy, creamy pumpkin. Natalie, this is your pumpkin candle. No cinnamon, no spikes. Cream, buttery, delicious pumpkin. Sandalwood, orange, clove leaf, vanilla, sure. It, those, AKA, creamed pumpkin. This is so yummy. I literally need to order three of just this. I want my whole house to smell like this. This smells just like you're carving a pumpkin, but you bake the pumpkin, and you're baking it with, like, brown sugar. Oh, wow. That's really, really cool. Because, again, I say, a lot of pumpkin fragrances, you don't get pumpkin, you get pumpkin in here. Absolutely. You get rich, you get decadent, you get real cream pumpkin. <sighs> yeah. I need more of that. It's my number one. All right, and last but not least, Velo. Is it Velo? Velo? I think it's Velo. It sounds fancy. And we have a bicycle with some flowers in its basket in front of looks like a red barn. And this says, touring the city of love on a bike, this unique fragrance is a tour de force with sandalwood and patchouli infused with leather accord and spice, softened by warm amber and musk. I've been on such a leather kick lately. Love the scent of leather. So... Really excited for this. Top notes, leather accord, sandalwood, and lemon zest. Mid notes of rose petals, freesia, and nutmeg. Base notes of amber and cedarwood. Let's give it a sniff. You smell leather. But don't let that deter you from buying this. Surprising? I get leather, freesia, and cedarwood. And freesia is a very interesting floral because I feel like that's one that you can really, like freesia, violet, lilac, rose, gardenia. Those are pretty much like the five florals that I can pick out when I smell a fragrance that doesn't necessarily say what it is. Because freesia has kind of a metallic smell. Don't let that freak you out like metallic, but I find that when I smell like a freesia fragrance, it kind of has just a hint of like a metal or like sharpness to it, which kind of could be like black peppery mixed with the leather. This is really, really cool. Honestly, if I close my eyes, smell this, this picture is literally what I see. It smells just like it. It's very, very different. Yeah, I really like this. I'm, I'm really impressed. Hmm. I would not say I want like 10 of these, but I'll be excited to burn it. And like, I think this is a total bedroom scent though. Total sexy bedroom. 
because of the leather, the rose, the freesia, the cedar one. I'm not really getting lemon zest. Amber, sure, like it's adding that, that layer of sophistication. But ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, really, really impressed with these. If I had to pick three, one, two, three. I'm gonna do three and an honorable mention. Apple Love, really like that. Sugar Pumpkins, have to get that. And Gorgeous. And then, as far as my like, honorable mention, morning cartoons just because it smells like pumpkin pecan waffles and i'm not mad about that the other ones are beautiful i'm excited to burn them not that they're bad obviously i bought these with my own money i love kringle candle again use my code ds yacht for 15 percent off your purchase again i'll leave that link down below and that works on top of sales too so if you see kringles having a sale most sales i know like that 12 dollars sale they had on the medium jars this weekend it did not work um, because it was just such a good deal but whatever if they do like a two for 42 or whatever on the candles you'll be able to use your 15 percent off that i have on top of that and yes it is an affiliate link i do earn credit towards gift cards for that but i just buy more candles with it so Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you picked up any fall candles from Kringle this year. Are you excited for the Halloween candles at the end of this week? I know I am. Leave your comments down below. Always excited to share. And as always, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that little, little notification bell in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload here on YouTube. Have an incredible day. Be kind. You matter. Make it a better world. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.